I, I think I'm starting to know what kind of red wine I like. Like, Really? You would think after all these years. Is it because of the shape of the bottle? <laughs> I watched the one with Charlene. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You're I know. So good. No, it's like I just started liking Merlot and, mm. and Medoc. Whatever I love Medoc is. Cab. 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 Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, Cabernet. I sound like a like a wine snob, but it's, it's because when I was working at Hillstone, like that restaurant, mm -hmm. we had to know all the wines, and like I had to do bottle service, and so I'd have to open the wine bottle at the table. You were a bottle service girl. It was horrible though, because like okay, my first night working, the like guy who managed the entire chain came in and they're like oh he's sitting at your table he's gonna leave like a massive tip like you have to be perfect man. i went to his table the cork broke <laughs> in the wine bottle oh shit. that's what i'm saying i get so nervous when and i called another it. girl over i was like please please <laughs> no i was a waiter at johnny rockets do you know johnny rockets <laughs> that's alex's favorite restaurant well i joined he it because the, i wanted to you dance you have to wear a roller skates right no, I wanted to. I I joined. I got the job because I wanted to wear roller skates and I wanted to do like their choreographed dances. Yeah. And then I joined in New York City and they're like, we don't do that in New York. Oh, and I was like, but that's why I wanted the job. Have you ever been to like the Ellen's Diner where they sing? Ellen's Stardust Diner yeah. in Midtown? Yeah. No. Uh, but I know been. exactly where it is. Okay, let's start the video. Okay. Hey, you guys. Welcome. <laughs> Wait, Carl. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Really? <laughs> okay. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video for you guys because I'm with... <laughs> Wait, can I have the wine glass in it? <laughs> yeah, if you want. Are you ready? Yeah. I knew we should have done this before. <laughs> I, I asked like, oh, you're gonna film a video and we should film it before the red wine talk, cause... <laughs> Wait, what is your video even about? It's about being American. I'm just gonna ask you some personal questions. Okay. Well, it's about okay. being American friends, but it's just like a really quick video, cause I don't have anything to post this week. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> I love you, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna be that deep. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video for you guys because I am filming here with the Damon Dominique. I'm sure most of you guys know who he is, but if you don't, he is an amazing YouTuber. He does travel videos, stuff about French culture. We have a lot in common. We're both yep. air signs. Yeah. Libra Aquarius. All right. We're both Americans in France. Mm -hmm. And so we just filmed a video for his channel. We are we are doing red wine talks, talking about creativity, art, like French lifestyle, etc. So if you guys want, go check that out. It's amazing. But I thought that since I have him here in the Bois de Boulogne, actually, it's like completely opposite side of Paris. Sorry. Actually, fuck. We're in the Bois de Vincennes. I would ask him some questions because we're both Americans in France. Yeah. Donc je me suis dit que ce serait pas mal que ces vidéos soient en français et en anglais parce que toi t'es bilingue. Je suis bilin comme toi, mais oui, bah, like, voilà. c'est toi qui va te faire chier avec non. tous les petites. <rire> like, euh... Non, mais en fait, parce que je pense que c'est le moment pour casser l'espèce le, de cliché que les Américains ne parlent pas le français, tu vois. Non, en fait, quand, oui, on, quand on était à Franprix, on, on parlait en anglais parce que c'est plus normal pour nous. Je croyais que quelqu'un dans la queue allait nous dire euh, bah, ah, faut, pas, faut parler français quand vous êtes en France ou quelque chose comme ah ça. Bon? And I thought we were going to be like. Bah si, on peut parler français aussi, mais c'est juste qu'on parle anglais. Est-ce que ça s'est déjà arrivé, toi tu parlais en anglais avec quelqu'un, il disait en fait il faut que tu parles français en France um, I like wish, but no, like I wish, I like you wish, wish for you the had story. that moment of like... I wish, but for the story, like it's not there. Non, pour la plupart du temps, like les gens, quand moi j'essaie de parler en français, moi j'ai un français plutôt bien, like plutôt bon, like bah oui. plutôt avancé. Et normalement, j'ai l'impression que les français aimeraient bien parler anglais, like, pour ah ouais? pratiquer. Par exemple, euh, quand je suis dans un, dans un restaurant avec euh, un pote américain ou ma mère américaine et moi j'essaie de parler français pour like, like to make everybody happy, mm -hmm. I'll speak French. J'ai l'impression... À l'aise. À l'aise, tout le monde à l'aise. J'ai l'impression que le serveur me parle, like... The server speaks to me like almost in a mean way. Condescendant. Yes, like they're almost more excited to speak English. Mm -hmm. Then like if they know that I speak French, then they'll be like, ah ouais, bah ça se fait pas comme ça. Or like mm -hmm. they'll like come for me because they know I understand. I studied here in 2011, 2012. Then I would come back every year because I had a French ex. 
um, French boyfriend at the time. And uh, so overall, like it's been like nine years, mm -hmm. but actually being in Paris, yeah, it's probably been like maybe one or two or three. Yeah, so you, okay, my first question that I really had for you is like, you're a YouTuber that you've traveled all around the world mm. and you could place your roots wherever you wanted. So why place your roots in Paris and what does the French culture give you that other places don't give you? Like, yeah. What does it give you? I just love how in Paris you walk down the street and you feel like you're in a movie. Mm. Like you're walking down like Rue de Rivoli and you look up and you're like, what the hell? Where like, am I? Where am I? Like architecture Osmanian. <laughs> then you like stop by in the Jardin de Tuileries, which is like a beautiful garden. There are all these statues. People are outside reading like books, and you like get a glass of wine, get a bottle of wine at Franc Prix. You go to the Quai de Seine, like next to the Seine, and you're just looking at like Le Tour Eiffel, and you're looking at the Seine. It's like just a beautiful way. I always say, if I'm gonna live a hundred years on Earth. Mm -hmm. It might as well be beautiful. Oh my god, this first thing. Oh shit. <laughs> like, she's like, yeah, you are. No. Okay, go ahead. Well, let's just wait, actually. <laughs> no, I'll explain more about Paris, why I think it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. What I find beautiful about Paris? I find a lot of things beautiful about Paris. I love the fact that you can take a Velib. The, <laughs> just, let's wait. We're gonna just wait real quick. Like you could have gone there, 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 <laughs> there, there, like, there, there, like, there. Okay, literally, this woman just came behind us. I, did you? Did they see it? She was like, "I want to be on camera." Yeah, oh. she came up and then she fucking like tied her bike up. This is her bike right here as we were talking, and I was like dying laughing. And Damon's trying to say pro. Damon's I'm a professional. To go with and this. I'm like, ah! like have okay. But it's true. She could have gone like literally there, there, there. Was it hard for you to make friends here? Friends. Being as that like you don't have a traditional office job and you you know like you are a foreigner so it's like yeah. you don't go to school like me or like you don't you know, like was it hard for you working from home to make friends? I see. Um, okay, so in LA I was I French came, friends. I would do. I wanted to say French friends. Yeah, French friends. Ooh, that's like an extra five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta yeah. talk. No, okay. So working from home is hard enough because as a YouTuber you are spending all your time like at home by yourself editing your videos filming your videos so you don't have many co-workers your co-workers are the other people on YouTube right yeah okay so when you're in LA what's kind of like I'm I came from LA to Paris mm -hmm. that's where I was living for the past three years in LA it's like even more lonely yeah because when you are done working you're like oh let me just walk outside and like feel the human world yeah but no one's walking outside, everyone's in their car. You got a little bug on your Yeah, face. I was like uh, myself. Everyone's in their car, everyone's like, no one's taking the metro. It's like a lot more, you feel more isolated. Then you come to Paris and you're like, oh shit, okay, I gotta be at home doing the lonely like YouTuber thing. Yeah. But then afterwards, I can come to the Bois de Vincennes and talk to the lady who, who like, rides her really bike cool. here. Yeah. So I feel like being in Paris is a lot easier. To make friends. To make friends in a way not just, not Paris, but like being in a big city that's not car heavy. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles, you like need a car to like do your thing. Making French friends, I feel like it's hard because they have had friends since they were in kindergarten. They keep them too, it's like impressive. It's, in, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Damn. Okay, like when I, okay. Loyalty. Alex has had the same friend. Alex, you guys know, is my husband. Like, he's had the same friends for like ever. And like, trying to pierce into that group was like not it. Like, I could not become friends with his friends because they just had their thing. And mm -hmm. like, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just like, there is such, it's like in France, in France, when you have a friend, it's like your friend for life. Yeah. Whereas like, I heard like, people think like Americans are like, okay. You're soft on the outside, but it's really hard to become your friend. Like everybody in America is very outgoing and stuff like that. But the like, peach thing. Yeah, exactly. That peach we're peaches. Thing. Yeah. yeah. You heard that? Huh? <laughs> we're peaches. We're soft on the outside, hard on the inside. Anything new. I'm like, what else you want? Like, what's new concept? <laughs> I have a few French friends, and I do agree with you that it's harder to like crack their shell. They think that we're like a little too soft. They're that like, like we make friends with anybody. They think that we're flimsy. Flimsy, and I'm like, well, I'd rather like be good with everybody than like hard with everybody yeah i think that's just like my my motto of life but well, you're um, a businessman <laughs> i don't know about that but yeah i probably in okay in paris i have a few french friends in paris i have a few french friends yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm listening i'm listening okay. i just saw something 
<laughs> in Paris, I have a few French friends, but I would say like having the most amount of French friends is not my goal in Paris. Yeah, you don't want to be like that bitch. Just like I have so many French friends. Like living here, it's not my goal to have French friends. My goal is to have international friends. Mm. So I want to be friends with people who are from all over Europe, all over from the world. Um, in Paris, like we choose Paris because it's a beautiful city. I agree. D'après toi, yeah. Est-ce que les gens y réagissent positivement au fait que tu sois américain? Et tu peux, enfin, tu peux apprendre en français ou en anglais comme tu veux. Enfin, est-ce que? I think they used to. Yeah, okay. Like, like. <laughs> Dans le passé, je crois que plus, like plus oui. Il me disait des trucs genre, ah, oh, t'es américain, ah, oh, cool. Non, mais là, maintenant. Je crois que l'image des États-Unis a changé. Ah bon? Avec Trump un peu ouais. et genre le conservatisme ah ouais. un peu. Mm. Like, so they're like, it's not as cool. Ouais, genre, ouais. So I think. Mais, ok. Je crois que toutes les. Bon, pas tout. Pas tout. Beaucoup de, beaucoup de la musique populaire, um, Top 40, tout ça, vient des États-Unis. Beaucoup des films, beaucoup des émissions, genre Netflix, tout ça, mm -hmm. viennent des États-Unis. Beaucoup d'innovations viennent des États-Unis. Donc je crois qu'il y a encore un côté. Il y a toujours un côté, like, cool. cool. Ouais. Like, qui va rester cool. Ouais. Like, il, ça change tout le temps. Mm -hmm. Je crois qu'il y a encore ça. But, like, do they think I'm cool? No. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think they think I'm cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, uh, also. Like what you said in my video, like, do I care? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I really don't. Because I want to be in, I want to be in the Bois de fucking Vincennes with people that I enjoy. Quand tu parles français, enfin, un niveau assez élevé, surtout pour un Américain, est-ce que tu, enfin, toi, t'as un personality qui est différent en anglais? Ouais, ok. Je crois que en français, oui, j'ai une autre personnalité. Ah bon? Parce que tu as pu cultiver. Pa pa Complètement différente, ouais. mais like, un peu plus calme parce ah. que je sais pas comment je sais pas, je sais pas comment faire les blagues comme je fais en anglais, je sais pas comment faire, euh, je sais pas comment créer des histoires comme je fais en anglais, ah bon. mais euh, je peux le faire en français, mais c'est quand même différent. Um, it's like not as funny to me. Like the small, yeah, when like, you tell a story and you're like you're, you're making it funny, it's like there's it's the small details that make it funny. But like pour moi c'est normal, ok? On grandissait aux États-Unis, on grandissait. On a grandi ou on a grandi? Grandi, on a grandi. On a grandi? I think. Don't fuck. I, I'm, I'm so sick of French people writing in the comments like you made this small error. I, like I don't know how your feelings, but like just this one little thing. Est-ce que vous savez comment c'est dur cette langue? Ça a rien à voir avec l'anglais. L'anglais elle est tellement plus facile que le français. Yeah. Vraiment. Okay. What was the question? I don't remember. <laughs> It was like, oh, your personality. Do I think that my personality is different in French? Yes, a little bit. Do you feel like you're more like? You like were able to cultivate that personality more. But it's true. Like, we choose a bit the French that we're going to talk. It's exact. I think that I'm speaking a French that's like more calm. Yeah. Because I feel like French culture is more calm than American culture. Oh shit. Bitch. But like, that's not who I am. Like, I do have energy. Yeah. Like, I I grew up. J'ai grandi avec la culture américaine et j'ai pas envie de perdre ça. Donc, je vais parler français. Un peu plus calme, mais d'un côté, ce n'est pas trop moi parce que mm. j'ai beaucoup d'énergie. Je veux parler comme ça. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, it would be like normal for like people to go like back and forth in French and English, like we do? You know, like I mean, like talking about Quebec, like Quebec. Like, like have okay. you been to Montreal? I haven't, but like there is this one YouTuber that I really love. Her name is Eva Maloche, I think. Yeah. I like she's from Canada, but like she goes back and forth from like French and English because she grew up there. I'm Love like, it. that is so freaking cool. Like, let's do that. I hate to break it to you, but you're gonna want to move to Montreal as soon as you go there. I don't like the cold. <laughs> oh, right. You're from Florida. <laughs> What is one thing you prefer about the American lifestyle over French culture? Okay. Like, obviously, there's so many things we love about the French culture, but. I know, I know, I know. Okay, like, I got one. He's like, I got millions. I got, I got so many. Um, J'aime trop que les gens aux États-Unis sont beaucoup plus like à l'aise avec les étrangers, not foreigners, but like uh, like strangers in mm. a way. Like you can go up to anybody, oh. tu peux passer n'importe n'importe qui dans la rue, tu peux les approcher, tu peux dire uh, hey, nice pink shirt you got there, and it yeah. would like it would be a, un échange agréable. Yeah. In si tu fais ça en France, il est il est belle, c'est quoi? Il est like ah bah t'aimes pas le rose? Oui, j'aime. T'as quoi contre les, les fleurs? Like, I feel like something would go wrong. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, in France, in France, sometimes I feel like people aren't as playful. And I like, I'm a playful guy. So I like to be playful. Like, yeah. let's do some cartwheels. Like, I'm, 
I just want to Let's have fun. do some cartwheels, you guys. I just want to have some fun. <laughs> yeah. All I want to do is have some fun. Don't act like you don't know the words. Cheryl Crow, <laughs> I know exactly the words, stop. What is one cliche you find to be true about French culture and one cliche you find to be false? Ooh, okay. A cliche I find true about French people. Well, I mean, you kind Road. of already said it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Should, but like should, not. Yeah, it depends. Old ladies, yes. Did you see okay. that bitch? Like she just fucked. <laughs> Bah, nous, on est un peu rude en France parce que, je, ok, moi j'avoue que quand je vois des Américains qui sont yeah. dans le métro, déjà, j'écoute très, enfin, j'écoute ce qu'ils disent parce que je me suis dit, ah, oh, je suis trop, oui, ils parlent trop fort. They're fucking loud. Et, et, un Even peu us, de... we're like really kind of loud right now. Are we? <laughs> we're in a fucking park. Like, fucking are you kidding park. me? What is not true? About French people? Yeah. Like, what is people like, ah, French people, like, I, I honestly, I don't think French people stink. Like I don't think no, they smell great. Right. Like they take more showers than I do. I would love to like hug a French person over an American person any oh, day. Oh yeah, they all smell good. You guys, you guys smell great. Good job. Not showering smells so good. <laughs> no, I do think that's completely. I don't know where we got that from. But okay. actually, I do know where they got that from. What is that? Oh, I feel like in a lot of French apartments, yeah, pas un rideau. Ah. There's no curtain mm -hmm. for the shower. Mm -hmm. How does your shower work? Do you have a shower or do you have a bath with like no curtain? Oh, I don't yeah, have a bath, I have a shower with a curtain. <laughs> Pretty easy. In many French apartments, they have a bath with no curtain. So if you want to take a shower, there's no way to like shower without your water getting everywhere. Yeah, so that's I true. So I think... Do you think that's what it comes from? Okay, si vous êtes français et vous pouvez regarder cette vidéo, si jamais vous savez où est-ce que ça vient, c'est cliché que le français pue, enfin le français dit pue, dites-nous dans le commentaire. I don't know where it comes from, honestly. Well, I was gonna say. Maybe like... it's the cheese. Maybe it's the stinky cheese. Oh. I, I mean, that's what I would think. Like, whoa. I was just gonna say, like, maybe they peut-être qu'ils ils se douchent pas, like ils prennent pas leur douche parce que ça va mettre l'eau partout dans la salle de bain comme il y a pas de rideau de est-ce qu'il y avait jamais un moment depuis ton arrivée où tu t'es dit que c'était trop dur et toi tu avais envie de repartir à vie oh, Oui me. voilà, est-ce qu'il y avait jamais un moment où c'était trop dur Like no. <laughs> <laughs> like has there been a Very anticlimactic. Like wow, what's the next question? <laughs> um, But like there ever been a moment No, honestly I feel more free over here. I'm like But like with French bureaucracy like Yeah, I just wish je préfère la version française en ce qui concerne le travail, mais je veux juste que ça soit la version française, mais like logique. Like, okay, I need something and you're working, so like, can you please yes. help me? Like, you're, you're at work. Yes. And I'm here to get something done, can you please help me? I even had like one lady, one time she made fun of me because like, I was stressed. It was like my second time getting like my visa. And I like had worked so hard to get all my papers and I was stressed that I didn't have everything. And she was like, You know, tu devais faire du de yoga. Enfin, vous deviez faire du de yoga parce que vous êtes un peu stressé. Je suis dire, mais madame, c'est toute ta vie là qui est en jeu. C'est pas, un... enfin, c'est pas n'importe yeah, quoi pour pas moi. C'est pas juste du yoga, c'est pas juste du savasana. Has living in Paris made you a better person? And what is your biggest dream for your future in France? Wow, these like I'm a huge bitch. questions. Like, I don't fuck around. These huge <laughs> questions. What is like has living has in made... France made you yes. a better person? Yes, 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 hundred percent. I feel so much more in line with myself in the sense like in the states again i think you said this in the red wine talk in the states culture and art and philosophy it's not really like a thing that we give a shit about in france it's say vraiment respecté like people everyone has a favorite author everyone has a favorite painter everyone has a favorite whatever mm. museum mm -hmm. and so in a sense like i can take my like work hard american self but also combine it with the like work is in everything let's yeah. let's value creativity and like culture and I'm things so like happy that to over hear that. absolutely and then just like the fact that we're here in this park and like, like look at us what time is it on here now because <laughs> you know what I, you know what i generally feel in the states a park like this they'd be like ah c'est juste un parc on peut le détruire et on peut construire des immeubles yeah. pour uh, make more money mm -hmm. and i'm like well We don't need more money. We just need more places to like lay out and drink wine. Yeah, you're right. I wish we had another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you always think that your country 
is like the greatest. Did you not. feel like that before? Like America yes. was the greatest? Really? Absolutely. Would you have like the Confederate flag on your truck? No, hell no. <laughs> but I did like, I mean, we grew up in the States thinking that America were number one and like Isn't this that is the, weird? We're the freest country. So weird. It's literally Um I like literally in history class we learned that the Native Americans had taught. Like we learned like they were the ones that were wrong. Yeah, like yeah. Columbus is a great person. He wasn't a great person. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's Same really Z's? weird. Same Z's. It's really weird how history uh, you choose how you you view your own history. Raconte-moi comment serait une journée parfaite à Paris selon toi. Today was pretty great. Ouais. Like I woke up, I got some work done at my place, then I took en a français, Philippe. Okay. Alex. Um, j'ai pris un Vélib, j'ai fait du Vélib pour 20-25 minutes, uh, j'ai rejoint Shaina ici à Saint-Mandé, returned to the Vélib, like on, on, on s'est baladé ici à Bois de Vincennes, on, on a bu du vin, on a tourné des vidéos, après ça je vais rentrer chez moi uh. en Vélib peut-être, je, je crois. Then like tonight, I don't know, maybe like aller au Quai de Seine avec une autre bouteille de vin. <laughs> avec qui? I don't know. <laughs> Mais genre en fait, je veux plutôt savoir, enfin parce qu'aujourd'hui c'est un peu particulier, mais par exemple quel quartier tu adores, par exemple, oh, quel qu serait, enfin, ok, tu te réveilles, peut-être tu, tu manges en, enfin je sais pas, un croissant, <rire> je sais pas qu'est-ce que, qu que tu fais, mais... Qu'est-ce que je fais dans une journée normale Oui, une journée plutôt normale, enfin pas une journée pas finie, une journée plutôt okay. normale, euh, qui, qui serait idéale, que tu, tu aurais envie de faire un Grand House Day avec. Je me réveille à 8h. <rire> No, but like literally, I do. Oui, I literally do wake up at 8 o'clock. Je me réveille à 8 heures. Je travaille un peu, genre quelques heures chez moi pour me sentir un peu productif. Puis euh, je me balade autour de mon quartier, arts et métiers, troisième. D'accord. Um, then I would probably. Puis je j'irai plutôt like prendre un café dans un café cool. Je sais pas, like partisan. Tu connais partisan? Non. Ah, je suis pas assez cool. Euh, bah, <rire> comme ça. Ouais, non, je sais pas. Ok, bon, c'est un café où le café coûte hyper cher, mais c'est très bon. Qualité très bon, mais pas ah, cher. Um, I feel like personally, moi je dois. Like walk, I literally just like drink flaner, coffee and walk around. Just flaner. That's what I'm saying. Je, je, prends du, je prends du café ou du vin, je lis mon livre. C'est une journée où tu fais rien du tout, mais ça, ça peut sentir comme c'est productif quand même, tu vois. Say autre chose again, like this is the whole thing I'm trying to get at. It's like, ce genre de journée aux États-Unis, on se centrait pas productif de tout. Ici en France, ça serait le plus productif parce que j'ai lu mon livre, j'ai fait une peinture. Like we did things that were like worth something, but in the States we'd be like, we didn't do anything. Yeah, it'd be like we, but like, we okay. Like had fun. For one thing, I just know like personally, I don't watch that much TV since I've lived here. Do you? You know, I don't have Like no judgment, but I'm just like, I feel like TV isn't like a big thing here. It's kind of a time suck Like in a family way. meals is so important and like family, like like time to just like talk and like, I, I just know for me personally, like I don't know for you, but like when I was like growing up, like we like didn't ever eat like at the table. Like we always ate like in front of the TV. Me too. Same. And it's like here, it's like that would be unheard of. That would be like you wouldn't so, do that. That would be like rude. <laughs> no, I would, I don't think I would ever like let my. It's so important for us to have a discussion like like that are important. This is what know? I'm saying, Shayna, because <laughs> it's so important to question the culture you came from because yeah. you just think that that's the way to live when it's like, that's not the way to live. Or maybe it is, I don't know. You just need to be questioned to decide if that's the way to live. I just feel like you gotta, you gotta find like what feels good. This is a rapid fire, okay, now we're entering. <laughs> Now we're entering into a rapid fire round. So this is very rapid. Okay. When I say dating French guys, you say? D uh, sexy. <laughs> like, I do. Ah, sexy! I think that they're okay. hot. When I say your favorite French croissant, you say? Uh, pain au chocolat. That's not a croissant, but it's close enough. <laughs> it's good. Okay. When I say tes gros mots préférés en français, tu dis? Ma quoi? Tes gros mots préférés en français Like putain, but that's so obvious. So I would say, putain. oh la la, oh la la. Moi j'adore merde. Merde is good, but I just, what gets, what pisses me off is oh la la. Okay, when I say, when I say, what is your favorite arrondissement à Paris, tu dis Troisième. Ah bon, pourquoi Just kidding, it's probably the neuvième. Ah bon, pourquoi 
It's like le centre. I just like to be. J'aime bien être au centre de Paris où il y a les gros immeubles haussmanniens où tu peux te déplacer dans les petits parcs. Tu es au centre où tu peux te déplacer un peu partout. I like troisième ou neuvième. D'accord. Moi, je pense que j'adore. Euh... Enfin, c'est pas vraiment rapid fire, mais j'adore. Euh... Ma quartier. Tu vois, je pense que c'est toujours comme Which ça. Quoi. What, le 20 e yeah. Moi j'adore Belleville. Enfin, euh, j'adore que c'est Paris, mais c'est le Paris authentique. Et je pense que c'est pareil pour le 17 e Enfin voilà. Bref. Ok. Oui, Est-ce que tu, tu manges euh, des banh mi là-bas De quoi Banh mi, like Vietnam, sandwich vietnamien. Non. Oh, that's all there I'm, is, I'm trying to become vegetarian. Oh, ok. I'm trying. Ok. <laughs> it's really hard though because, like, with my mother-in-law, she's like. Every time I'm like, I'm becoming vegetarian. She's like, so you're saying to me like you're not going to have cheese? Like I prepared uh, this cheese for you. Are I you kidding me? You. I know. Like I too for toi. they take it so personally. I'm like, it's fine. Like why do you, like why are you concerned with what I'm eating? Like what why are you concerned? No, with but you I'm know that's like a very I think a very American way of thinking. What? They're like Americans. We think like this is who I am and I'm gonna do what I want and we'll all like link up when our paths connect. Here they're like. That would not work. They're yeah. like, we're all in this together. We we're move all forward as a in side. this together. <laughs> we're all in this together. We move forward together. We're like, all right, we all do our own thing. We're like, let's get what we want. And then we like meet up when our paths connect. Last questions I have for okay. you. Okay. This has been super long. All right. <laughs> okay. What is really one thing that you would tell yourself before you move to France that you didn't already know? Because you knew a lot. Like you knew like, You've been here before, so like, what is one thing that like before you made the giant like last yeah. move? Okay. Would be for you? If you're really concerned about being lonely here, which like is reasonable no matter what country you're moving to, I would say join a class, mm. join some sort of training or workshop where you can learn something with fellow classmates who are of that culture. Yes. So like, if you're coming here and you're gonna take a French class, like you're not gonna meet French people. You're gonna meet people yeah. learning French. Oh, that's so true. But if you come here and you like learn French and then you take a painting class, you'll meet French people in the painting class. You took a painting class, didn't you? I sure did. How was it? Okay, okay. So this painting <laughs> class, I, you know I took it because of you. Really? I swear. Because there was Shut this video. Up. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Filmed, no, I swear to God, I filmed, I, I did it because I loved painting in the park at Bouchemont. And I remember you said like, when you paint something realist, you, you tend to compare it. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh shit, I'm a bad painter. Yeah. But when you paint something abstract in your mind, you're like, oh, this looks good because you can't compare it to anything. Mm. So I started taking an abstract painting class and now I'm like, I'm a great painter. I'm a boss. I'm a boss painter. That's so true though. So now I'm trying to do like more abstract painting. I took a painting class for five classes. But was it because like because of the coronavirus has it been like stopped? There's no classes oh, I know, oh, but I'm, I'm in email. Like he's like, we're gonna get back to this like real soon in June, July. Like we're gonna be up in here. So yeah, I'm gonna. I, be I honestly feel like abstract painting is so liberating because it is true. Like when you try to do realist, like I don't think that there's anything against having technique. Like it is amazing. Like it is a beautiful blessing to be able to paint people as you see them or like paint something as you see it and make it look like realistic. But at the same time, like at the end of the day, you're trying to express something that's inside of yourself, and so. Honestly, like I remember I was at school one day and my we were in this like um, art studio and my friend was like Looking at these two paintings and they were kind of similar It was the same subject matter, but one was really really abstract and one was really realist And I was like, you know what the abstract one touches me more because there's something just like more poetic about it like something that's more like Representational and I don't know yeah. what it is, but it's just like it's not trying too hard. It's just like this is how I feel and that's it what is. I'm and like Period. just let yourself be it's fine So anyway, damn, I like that you could, you could end it right there. That's great. <laughs> yeah Thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out Damon's channel if you don't already know him I'm sure most of you guys do don't forget to follow us on Instagram if you guys want to follow up with our daily lives Check out my Patreon page if you want some extra content like podcast episodes, etc. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you. Bye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> bye bye.